art is truly a mirror of our societies because in more ways than one, the stories artists choose to have on the various mediums they have their work on often highlights topics and subjects that affect our societies. That being said, let us now take a look at this artist. Enjoy. For many artists, the fire to understand the workings of art is typically kindled from a young age. Sustained through incessant curiosity and thirst for excellence, these artists eventually morph into maestros. I started as a, at, a, at a very young age, back in school, when I was in primary school. Uh, I was just scrib scribbling and just uh, creating. Until in 2015 when I decided like um, something that I could, I could really uh, look into and take it professional. So from 2015 I, I took it professional. Yeah, until now, still pushing. As a visual artist, I'm a painter. I'm a portrait artist. I'm a mural artist. And Basically, all around, I consider myself as a, an artist who doesn't have boundaries in terms of self-expression. The pieces he creates are rigorously thought through and packaged in a way that the messages portrayed hit home to his a target audience. It's quite a process when we, it comes to uh, creating an, a piece, a piece of art, especially a painting, because first of all, I have to visualize. I have to visualize whatever I want to create. And if I have that visual picture in my mind, then I go to the timberyard because I need to, to create the stretcher frame. So there I have to have a knowledge of at least a little bit of carpentry to do the 45 angles and, and just build a really nice frame. And then I bring in the canvas, I cut it and stretch it, and then I prime it. And then now I start sketching whatever uh, idea I have in my mind. And then I visualize it until I'm comfortable with the end product. I have a couple of uh, pieces, and there's one here uh, that is talking about uh, the Mashambani life, the farmer, uh, what it entails from uh, the products, the, 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 the farm product they remove from the, the farm to the market. And actually, this piece is called To the Market. These guys are from harvesting the viazi, and they are now taking, uh, taking to the market to sell. I have a couple of pieces that some have, uh, I have sold locally and internationally. And I can say I'm a proud artist moving forward and looking, looking forward to selling more and doing better. Opportunities like those presented by the UM Gallery, where some of his works are exhibited, have greatly lessened the marketing and exposure burdens not only for him, but other artists as well. Galleries like UM Gallery, like where we are today, uh, they have come in to actually bridge the gap and actually to cut down in terms of artists looking to be gallery artist material. And UM Gallery is coming in like, uh, it's taking all, all artists and they are like bringing artists together to network and to showcase their arts. Oh, no, no. And like some other, some other galleries you, you, could, you, could, you can find there a lot of gatekeepers for you to, to, to exhibit there. You have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that, you know. There's a lot of dynamics out there. Yeah, so definitely, uh, gallery like you, UM Gallery and so many others that are incorporating so many other artists. I think it's a win for them and for us artists. The journey can get extremely tumultuous for anyone daring to tread the path of art and the artist occasionally lives through this. One of the challenges that I faced, uh, one, is that uh, being a self-taught artist, I have to practice and continue learning at the same time, at the same pace. And uh, it's, it's a challenge to actually uh, get uh, materials uh, or mentorship from people, because at the same time, 
Uh, you look at the art market, there is a lot of gatekeepers. There are people who do what they do and they don't want to share. And as a self-artist, you have to really go an extra, an extra, an extra mile to, to be as good as uh, people out there. So some of the challenges is actually to, uh, to learn at the same pace because you have to really have uh, good products out there, good artworks and good pieces so that you don't look like a man, an, an amateur at the same time. You know? Another challenge is uh, we're talking about art materials. In, in terms of paints, uh, art materials, tools, those kind of things, we don't make them no locally. I don't even think there is a, a, a factory a man, manufacturer in Africa that makes those things. We have to, to, to import them from, from Europe. And the retailers and wholesalers that are here, if they run out, you have to chill and wait. If say you don't have you don't have a green color, you don't have white, you know, you have to chill. If you if you chill now, <laughs> you have to put your work pending. You know, those are some of the challenges. But all in all, Nivitu to Napambana Nazuna Tunaya Tuna Triumph by the end of the day. To ensure he conveys his message to as many people as possible, the artist also doubles up as a musician. As a performing artist, I have a couple of albums, a couple of singles, a couple of videos. And uh, my music is usually uh, contemporary. I'm talking about what is happening in society. I'm talking about things that are dear to me things that are affecting society, things that are, I want to express. And music, Imekua, like, it's a way of expressing myself and actually reaching out to people. It is his dream to grow his art even more and inspire the next generation of artists while at it. Time will tell. As long as I keep on practicing, and I know I'm artist mkubwa sana, I'm a mentor watu huku inje, na art zangu zimekuwa sorted after. No, no. That's how I see myself. Even Labda Takesho. No, no. Time, time is just a concept that at a Labda you're five years it's a fake. No, no, no. Because as an artist, Najua, anything is possible. As long as I can visualize here, I can hold it here. So if I visualize and manifest myself as who I want to be, at a Kesho, time, na at a limit your time, you can in the talk up a Labda Kesho, and you know, eh, what you pale. Ujamasha toka ndo huyo. You can reach me on all social media handles at leadanjam.at. Apart from YouTube, YouTube you can reach me at uh, leadanjam underscore at. That is for visual arts. Uh, for music, leadanjam ra pale YouTube. Come on, engage me. To Bonge, and uh, let's make the world a beautiful place. Well, it's always all about the message, whether in art or music. <laughs> <laughs>